Welcome back to Minecraft with uh, LP. You're back! Yay! Yay! Hello! And uh, I'm Fireweaver, and with us we have uh, Malinka, Sarah, Storm Dragon, and Holy Gun as Zulu. Hello. Yay. Hello. Hello? Cool. Hello. Hello. So uh, this episode is mostly about, uh, well we've started a little bit, we're actually going to make this a kind of like a refuge, this uh, base here, this is our beach shack. And uh, it should be like a traveller's rest and not our base. Our bases will be moved to somewhere far more grander, far more interesting in time. But uh, yeah, we need to make this a traveller's rest point, so we need food around, easy access to food. And for that we'll grab some animals, we'll get the crops going, and uh, also I want to um, start off with at least getting these ores that we picked up in the mines last episode uh, going to process. So for that I'm going to need lots of cobble. Um, actually, to begin with, I'm going to... Uh, make you a present. These are clovers, you find them out in the field. And if you put them in a circle like this you get a dull flower band. And you can upgrade these with different flowers eventually and the top band allows you to uh, drag animals around with you, kind of they'll follow you like if you're holding wheat but without holding the wheat kind of thing. Um, Elthy, there's your... You wear it on your head? Yeah. No, your butt. And I'm actually going to give one to Malinka as well because without oh, a helmet, too, yeah, without, um, has he already got one? <laughs> I should have the materials for it, yes, I'll make one. You should, oh no, I've made you one, look, here we go. But, oh, yay! Um, the reason ready. is, is that on my mini-map he appears as a creeper because of his skin, and at least if he wears a hat I can differentiate him between other creepers, so... Yes, all the Do I look pretty? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, lovely, darling. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, okay. You're so pretty, Malenka. Thank you. Um, so so no. back to the dealing with the ores. Um, so you have furnaces that everyone knows, and I'm actually going to make. Uh, let's make a few more. So I'm going to make a lot more furnaces. Let's make one, two, uh, let's think three, four, five. I'm going to make six furnaces. And three extras for vanilla stuff. Okay, that'll do. Now with the remaining cobalt, I can take... Uh, these and increase it to six everywhere. There we go. Actually, I needed three. Oops. And you add two furnaces like this, top and bottom, you get something called a slag furnace. Now, slag furnaces don't work on everything, unfortunately. Um, but what they um, do is that for the ores it does work on, it allows you. I do have bones in the chest, I believe, of Elfie. Um, I'm just going to drop this here for now. Uh, I'm going to have to move beds and whatever. But if I grab some of this ore that we picked up, uh, I'm going to show silver ore first. So, for placing silver ore in a slag furnace does something a bit different. And if we wait till it cooks up, it won't take a second. And there we go. You get both silver ingots and lead ingots when you use silver ore in a furnace like this. Now, let's take something like uh, gold ore and put that in a slag furnace. Now, when you cook normal ores, um, not everything, because I don't think direct lead doesn't work and ferrous ore doesn't work. But when you're cooking normal ores, besides those, you get gold and stone from it. Plus, if with a bit of luck, you'll see it double. I'm going to grab this so you can see. Just every now and then, your ore will double. OK. 
Come on, get some luck. Oh, someone's breaking all the windows. Well, you're not known for your luck fire, so uh, here's fingers crossing. Yeah, we got a double. So it, it works out over a lot of materials to be a, uh, an extra 140% um, extra on yours. So it's, uh, it is a bit better. Oh, good. That means we can move our beds. Thank you, uh, Sarah. There we go, we've got a little dormitory going. Uh, excellent, so I'll, um, I'll probably grab a few more bits of coal here and I'll at least get the iron going in the same way because a lot of our tools will want to switch up to uh, iron tools. <coughs> so I'll just get that going. Um, have I got enough iron cooked up? No, not yet. I'll come back to that later. Right, Malinka. Hello. Yes? You're Hello. working um, on this farm over here, aren't you? Yep. At the moment I'm make, uh, clearing out a bit, a bit of space around it so we can put down some fencing. Um, if we don't do that, slimes will be able to jump all over the place. And that's something we definitely don't want. Yeah. So uh, that one you just picked up, what uh, was that? That's called barley, it's one of the new ones. If you use barley as a basic craft, just place it in any crafting slot, you'll get back, uh, what's it called again, uh, barley flour. And if you bake up barley flour with just basic heat, you'll get back a bread. So for basically one flour, you can bake one bread, instead of the normal seeds which needs three flours for one bread. Uh, oh, doesn't see the... <laughs> uh, yay. Oh, what the hell were oh. you doing? Um, holy gun. Were you back My the home mice? bed was missing. Well, crap. Um, uh, just because you're going to be... Uh, actually, didn't I spawn, change your spawn point, though? But my bed was destroyed, I don't know. And that was my spawn point. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to... Uh, our vanilla spawn point is actually miles away, and there's nothing good over there in terms of biomes. So I'm teleporting him back because our vanilla spawn point is about a thousand blocks in uh, west of here. Let's get some sleep done before we continue a fire. Yeah, that's pretty good. I do have two idea. more things Azula, to show come up back, there. please, because your spawn point hasn't been reset. Um. Okay. And so you uh, took a dip in the lava. Yeah. I'm not. What was, what was your goal, uh, Azuli? What are you heading off to do? Well, I was just exploring, getting some more mining done, and I clipped some lava, and I was burning. Okay. And I just died. Can you help? One more thing to show off here. Uh. Okay. Go on. One of the other crops that's new is cotton, and if you cl uh, right click one uh, fire, so you have it in the inventory. Yep. If you pick up three of those little cotton balls, you can make strings. Okay, cool. Basically, the uh, same formula as the wheat. You just place three in a row, and it'll give you uh, a string. Did we um f find any uh, bones for bone meal anywhere? I got enough to make three bone meal, so I have two wheat. Which means I can get animals. Okay. Um, in which case, uh, let's go hunting for animals to bring. Animals. I'm currently uh, making space here so I can put a fence down for them. Oh, okay. Well, so if you bear with oh, okay. Let's. Oh. Your iron's probably done. Yeah, exactly. While that's going on, I'm gonna do this oh, with I've the iron. I've been moving it into the box. Oh, okay. Oh, there's loads of iron done. Yeah, fantastic. Um, so one thing that I did in between episodes, but it's probably worth showing, is I upgraded a chest, and they're fairly uh, easy to upgrade. Um, you just take a circle of iron with a wooden plank in the middle of it, and you'll get a, uh, a normal chest to iron chest upgrade. And um, 
If you look here, there's the size of the inventory now. And if I upgrade the chest, here's the size of the inventory afterwards. We've effectively doubled the space of uh, the chest here. So that's uh, a good way of storing stuff and uh, saving space. I'll leave those furnaces here. Let's drop another bed down. There's a couple more people still to arrive on the server that we haven't introduced yet. Um, that's why there's uh, so many beds here. They're, when they're around, then uh, we'll introduce them. Uh, in my opinion, Elfie, I think we can cover it up. Yeah, I figured it was very shallow and there's not really anything down there apart from growling zombies. Yeah. I'll at least light it up a bit down here so it doesn't... So when you cover it up... I think it's spawned a creeper in there. Yeah, just so when she covers it up we're not going to have like zombie noises outside our window, that would be annoying. Um, have we got any of the barley seeds grown yet? So I can actually show cooking that. There's yes, I've got four in my inventory. Well. Oh, the, the, well, the barley crop. So, here you go. Unless Malinka stole them, there's wild barley just over there growing. Oh, is there? So, yep. Yeah, oh crap, someone oh, yeah. gave me a gate while I was doing that. Thank you! <laughs> So as you just saw there, I've just turned that barley into barley flour and a direct cook of it. So um, so what's particularly good about that is uh, effectively, like, when you're mining, uh, mining? When you're uh, growing wheat, you need free wheat to make one bread. So therefore you need free slots on your farm to make one bread. With barley you only need one to make one bread. So it's a bit of a space saver as it were. So as you can see here it goes. Nice. So I just chucked something at you through. fire. You did. Um, a bookcase. Okay. Uh, bookcases are part of Bibliocraft, and I'll just quickly get the recipe up. It's very vanilla like planks and slabs will get you a bookcase and uh, what's good about bookcases is, uh, where have I got the books, here they are. So the materials and new books that we got from the episode one, I can actually just uh, store them here by right clicking and it will just put the books in the, on the bookcase and by clicking them uh, again how do I do this? Right click. Yeah then normally you can pull them back out again. Oh yeah shift right click. Shift right click pulls them out that way or you can um, do it through the bookcase interface and put it in that way. So there's a, a bunch of ways of doing that. Okay how are we getting on with the um, the the farm stuff. Are we ready to bring uh, some animals? Oh, sorry. If not, uh, you can always check a bit south of my basic farm. There's something you need to show off there as well. A bit of gravel. Ah, yes, okay. You say south. Okay, yep, I see it. This is a part of a natural spawning. Oh, I'm standing on thorns. Lovely. And you get gravel that looks a bit different. Now you get this for most ores but in this case this is gravel, iron gravel ore and you can cook this up and it turns into an iron ingot but you cannot pulverize iron gravel so you can't double it And I don't think it works. You can also only dig it with a shovel, otherwise yeah. you break it. Yeah, and I would pretty much... Uh, yeah, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, you have to dig up with a shovel. No, no other tool. Oh, it does work. I'm amazed. 
So you can increase the uh, what you get from iron gravel ore, but you have to put it in a slag furnace. I wonder if that's a bug. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, it's cooking in there. That's good. Are you taking down these trees? Uh, cool. Have we got the wheat to go grab some of these um, cows and yes, I do. wheat and th the things? I, I'm trying to look for a route through that... Um, see, these fawns, because they do damage, are potentially going to kill any animals we bring this way. Yeah, I would just recommend destroying them, to be honest, because you don't want to lose your animals. Yeah. Um, are you behind me? I was just lighting up the paddock on the way now. Oh, okay. You got any fencing left? Uh, no, I do not. Okay. Now, something you should know about leading animals, um, which as Zulu as you're following us, you'll need to know this as well, is that if any other player is nearby the person who's trying to drag the animals around, you'll confuse the animals. That's a vanilla mechanic. So when Elfie does find the animals and starts dragging them back, keep out of her way. I mean, I'll film from afar, but yeah, don't don't startle the cows and sheep. So I can't go cow tipping then. No. You can't go running out naked, holy gun. Where did all the gobble go? Oh, this is worth mentioning. We've got beehives um, around. That's what they look like. Oh, what's that? Oh, I just found random berries. I'll eat those. I've got some cobble if you want any, Malinka. Oh, yes, please. Someone took all the cobble. I'm trying to fix stuff. <laughs> oh, that was me. Well done, behind you. Well done. Holy gun, creeper. <laughs> oh, one. Well, there's a tension. Kill it. Alright, alright. I got one cobble. <laughs> How do you chuck it out in one pile? Uh, just drag it out. Yeah, drag it out your in inventory. Click E. All, uh, yep, basically that. Simple enough. Thank you. I feel like the Pied Piper. You need to be whistling a tune then. I'm not going to whistle on vent or you'll all die. How does the uh, <laughs> how does the McDonald's theme tune go? I'm loving it. <laughs> That's what the Pied Piper of uh, Minecraft, because this is for food. <laughs> okay, you could take a different Mc so McDonald's as well then. You could also go for Old McDonald. He had a farm. He did. Did you just I call me Old like Old <laughs> I'm going to uh, cut round. Kelsey uh, had a fun. E I E I O. With way too many sheep and a couple of cows. E I E I O. Along came a creeper and blew them all up. E I E I O. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hello. Animals, you want the food? Azulu, really you shit. know when you walked past Elfie just then? Did you just distract all the animals? It wasn't that close, was it? I did punch a sheep because I only need one sheep and I had like four following me by the end of that. I was a bit like, no, go away. I need two cows for food. You only really need one sheep because it's going to be a basic shelter and if people need wool they can just shear the one sheep. One sheep to shear them all. <laughs> One sheep to fry them. Mutton chops for dinner tonight. And in my stomach, I'll bind them. From Tesco, I will buy them. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, it's dark. This, oh, cows are so annoying. They're just like, mm, you want me to come over there? I don't think so. <laughs> Did you guys break 
their thorns and stuff, because animals yeah. tend yes. to have really horrific pathing, and they just kind of like, ooh, look, it hurts, yay, die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I found a couple more on your route, but I've just grabbed them. Just, uh... Well, I know that it's not just animals that keep getting stuck on them. I know Sarah keeps getting stuck on them too, so she'll be happy as well. <laughs> Incoming farmyard! Yay! Oh, you got almost to the end and then a cow decides to not bother. Hi! Hello, Mr. Cow! Uh, Sarah, stay out the way, otherwise you'll, they won't follow healthy. There we go. Oh, uh, uh, Sarah, behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I heard it just as you yelled. <laughs> oh my god, They're what is so wrong greedy. with them on the gates? Let me see if I can push them through. They should make the gates bigger. You can make double gates, I guess. Oh, I knew that would happen. They just scattered on me. What is wrong with these? Yeah, you should have just animals. left them because I was trying to. Uh, I broke the gate, but you need to fix. <laughs> He's trying to them. get in the house. Oh, now that sheep's that yeah, we got uh, in the bed is following. <laughs> Hello. You have the gate, can you put the gate back on? Oh, do I? Yeah. Oh, fail. <laughs> <laughs> fail, well. There we go. Let's see if we can get the uh, sheep. Have you got any more wheat that we can steal? Yeah, I, um, I've got some in my hand. I'm just trying to get them to look at it. Look at the wheat, it's exciting. Oh, I see you broke another gap, yep. Look, you stupid sheep. Get in the bloody hole. There we go. Hey! We Success! Can, we can breed the rest that we need. Um, and this sheep uh, here needs sheep. to be punished. I think I aggroed... Uh, an Enderman somewhere. I heard it. Oh well. Um, yeah, killing um, sheep on this server will yield lamb chops as well as wool. So that's good. Uh, yeah, we can sleep. Oh, zombie. Where's my sword? There. I just don't like zombies to creep me out. You know, those oh. things have quite a Hooligan's few hit points. Hooligan's playing with his bone in bed. Did you just pick up a minion shard? <laughs> uh, no. Unfortunately, I didn't. Alright. Why can't I play with my bone in bed? Is there a um, problem with it? not allowed to. Uh, zombie brains was part of Formcraft. Out of interest. Okay. I'll just be the loader. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we've probably accomplished quite a bit this episode, so um, I think now's a good time to uh, finish up. Um, so make sure you leave a comment for us all, like, subscribe, and uh, support the series. If you're enjoying it, please let us know. If you've got any suggestions, please write them on a postcard and send them to... Old McDonald's has a Tesco farm, um, or just <laughs> drop it on the bottom of the uh, the channel. Oh my God! There's an, a very angry Ender top. Oh, I can't stop yet. Um, has anyone got a sword? Yep. Yes. I've got an iron sword if you want. I'm gonna watch a Zulu take out an Ender top because they're quite amusing. Ender tops are from Darkcraft, and uh, you kill one, and its parents come. And, and although this one seemed to I'm a single parent. Maybe uh, their parents were divorced. It is. Normally you get two Endermen comes from an Endertop. Anyway, sorry.
distracted at the end. So, um, but yeah, as we say, leave comments. We love those um, below the video. And from everyone here, I'm Fireweaver, and uh, from the rest of the Let's Cooperate team, bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.